Rooster Teeth News is brought to you today by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere. Get an extended free trial when you visit HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Activision has thrown down a challenge to Rockstar, claiming Call of Duty will retake the world records it lost to Grand Theft Auto V, particularly the record for fastest selling video game. Congratulations to the team at Rockstar for their success. We look forward to getting the record back before the next GTA title, says Activision's Kevin Flynn. Though Call of Duty Black Ops 2 sales were down to about 23.5 million copies across Xbox 360 and PS3 from Modern Warfare 3's 27 million, and pre-orders for the upcoming Call of Duty Ghosts are weaker than they were for the second lap. Activision remains optimistic, saying, We know that our unaided awareness for Ghosts is leading the way against other unreleased AAA titles. They attribute the lower pre-order numbers to the impending next-gen console releases, with gamers still deciding when and how they plan to upgrade. In Thief news, Eidos Montreal has decided to scrap the XP leveling system for their upcoming Power Stealth game after they decided it didn't suit the spirit of the game. Well, that and there was the outrage from fans after an E3 video showed the protagonist, Garrett, getting a headshot bonus for killing a dude. Not exactly Thief-like behavior, right? And the devs are in agreement, so it's gone. According to lead level designer Daniel Schmidt, we wanted to put emphasis on stealing things and put the rewards on the stealing aspect. We want to allow the player to decide the how-to. We shouldn't judge how the player wants to achieve their goal, only reward them for achieving it. So if you aren't getting levels, how will you progress? The goal is to use gold to buy elements to progress, to encourage the player to steal. The player will be able to choose how to spend the money for more stealthy or more aggressive tools, says Nick Canton, the game's director. Bethesda has shared new information about Elder Scrolls Online as well, or at least the character creation tools. In a new demo showing off the array of options, the game's art director, Jared Carr, shares, Going into this, we made a conscious decision that we wanted our character creation system to be very robust. We knew we would have to provide the options that players would expect from an Elder Scrolls game, so it had to be a thorough system with a lot of customization options. To that end, you can determine your character's height, weight, build, body art, facial tattoos, shoulder width, arms, and even hand size. So yeah, that probably counts as a lot of customization options. Check the description for a link to the full demo. Blizzard has announced that Blizzard All-Stars, previously planned as a MOBA-style add-on to StarCraft II, has been renamed Heroes of the Storm, and hint that it may have taken on a life of its own. The game will be a crossover featuring heroes from the StarCraft, WarCraft, and Diablo universes, and details are scarce now, but you can expect to hear more early next month at BlizzCon. And finally, the creators of Myst are kickstarting a spiritual successor. This year marks the 20th anniversary of Myst. Combined with its sequel, Riven, the game sold 12 million copies, arguably one of the best performers for that era of games. Their new Kickstarter project is Abduction, which translates literally to the act of laying over as a covering, but also refers to an abduction, specifically yours. The game will begin when you're whisked away into the sky and across the universes to who knows where, or when for that matter. From there, well, if you've ever played one of the Myst games, you know the drill. Expect to spend a lot of time solving puzzles and getting lost in gorgeous and varied environments. The Myst games have always been known for their graphical prowess, and Cyan aims to meet those high expectations with Abduction, using the Unreal 4 engine. According to the Kickstarter page, the Abduction project will take what Cyan knows about creating deeply immersive worlds and apply it to an entirely new game with fantastic scenery, incredible architecture, compelling story, and exceptional challenges. The game will be developed at a base level for Windows and Mac, with a target release date of mid to late 2015. If they make their funding goal of $1.1 million, they'll begin looking at stretch goals like Oculus Rift support and multiple language support. And though it only kicked off today, they've already raised over $120,000, so the project is looking pretty good. And that's the news. Do you think Call of Duty will break GTA's records? Happy about the changes to Thief? How do you think Heroes of the Storm will go? And are you looking forward to a new project from the brains behind Mist? Shout out in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com for more of our videos, like our Call of Duty achievement guides, or our Let's Plays in other MOBA games like Smite and League of Legends.